Hello guys, today I am going to show you the proof of PV raised to gamma equal to a constant in an adiabatic process. We know that in an adiabatic process there is no change in heat. So dQ that is delta Q is equal to zero. According to first law of thermodynamics, according to first law of thermodynamics we can see that dQ is equal to du plus dW that is I am writing the differential form of of the equation and we also know as du that is difference in internal energy will be equal to ncv delta t that is specific heat into difference in temperature this came from qv that is heat gained at constant volt we know that u is equal to qv so from that we form this relation right here we know that d w is W is equal to pressure into volume. So we can write dW is equal to PdV as there is a change in volume. Uh, so I am substituting these values, these three values into this equation right here. So I am getting 0 is equal to du plus pdv rearranging the equation minus pdv equal to du so substituting the value of du we get minus pdv equal to mcv delta t so we know that uh, pv equal to nrt so p is equal to nrt by v this thing is used to substitute this pressure right here we are going to substitute that thing that is nrt by v in this pressure quantity so substituting it and we are we substituted p by nrt p by nrt by v uh, equal to ncv delta t cutting these both and that is number of moles we get R by CV into dV by V by equal to dT by T that I have, I have already changed and rearranged the equation taking the CV right here and TV right here I took this here and I took this here and I got this equation and R is a universal gas constant we know that cp minus cv is equal to r dividing this equation by cv we get cp by cv minus 1 equal to r by cv this thing that is r by cv uh, is going to be substituted right here we put the value which came from this relation to right here we are going to substitute it R by CV by CP minus CV minus 1. By substituting it, we form a new relation a CP minus CV minus 1 into dV by V equal to dT by T. And I am going to integrate this equation as it is a small value. I am going to apply integration. As a small value, we are going to integrate. As CP minus CV minus 1 is in constant, we are not going to integrate that. Applying limits Vf Vi Tf that is T final T initial. Okay, just applying integration. We know that x raised to minus 1 dx integral of x raised to minus d, uh, dx is equal to log to the base e xf minus xi xf by xi uh, can be also written as uh, log to the base e xf minus log to the base e xi just uh, logarithm simple rules just primary rules and applying it we get 1 minus cp by cv log to the base e Pf by Vi equal to log to the base E Tf by Ti. I just integrated it and and we know that we know that 
log to the base e x raised to m is equal to m log to the base e x. I took that single principle right here. It took this quantity right here, this quantity which was here to here. It is the exponentiating rules in the logarithm. Uh, hope you know it. This is a basic principle. It came from a basic principle that is uh, log to the base e x raised to m equal to m into log to the base e x. I use that single technique right here, and we know that if we know that if if a log x equal to log y, then x equal to five then x equal to y that that's the same technique I use here um, you can I will demonstrate if log to the base e x equal to log to the base e y x equal to y symbol logic I use the same ring right same thing right here that therefore we got a new relation that is Vf by Vi 1 raised to gamma equal to Tf by Ti we know that PV equal to NRT that is ideal gas equation T can be written as PV by NR I'm going to make this like this uh, Tf by Ti taking this relation right here for Tf and Ti we get Tf Vf by Nr Ti Vi by Nr so these two get cancelled and we get Tf by Ti is equal to Pf Vf by Pi Vi substituting this in this uh, hope I think you may ask that uh, before this slide you saw that 1 minus gamma how it came gamma minus 1 uh, it is a small technique in maths I just reciprocated it uh, and also uh, reversed the, exp the exponential places also that's what I have done here uh, you may not get confused uh, that's what I told you so that's why I told you so substituting this value to this equation that is pf vf by nr uh, by pi vi by nr nr get cancelled and substituting this and cross just cross multiply these two equations so this this minus one right here will get cancelled by this positive one and also this minus one will also get cancelled and we get pf vf Vf raised to gamma equal to Pi Vi raised to gamma. From that, we get Pv raised to gamma equal to constant. So, henceforth, that is how you prove that Pv raised to gamma equal to constant in an adiabatic process. Hope you enjoyed and goodbye.